Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Good morning, wherever you are. This is Jay. Jason, I'm gonna say. Uh aka cabs with the X reviews. Um, this is gonna be a different video than what you're normally used to listening to. Um I was wrestling whether I should even attempt to do this video, but I was inspired by a, by a fellow YouTuber. Um, I'll include their information below. Shimon, uh, brother to brother, I thank you for posting what you posted. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, if you didn't know from the thumbnail, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna get into when this happened, what company this happened to, or, um, but suffice it to say that, yes, before I took that picture, I was laid off 72 hours before that picture was taken. And the place where this picture was taken was in Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, and to get into some of the backstory, um, I was laid off for various reasons, but they all had to center on restructuring. And I was just the guy on the chopping block. Um, I was battling whether I even should go to Hawaii after hearing this news, but I saved enough money um, and I did not want to miss out on the opportunity despite the circumstances. Um, looking back, I have no regrets on it. I gained a lot of experiences going. I had a chance to see a beautiful country, but I kind of want to walk you through mentally where my mind was at. Um, and as I entered Hawaii, I was mixed with excitement, fear, depression, <laughs> Anxiety, if I haven't already said it, um, but something within me said, go. And I've never been on a plane longer than five hours um, and crossing over that blue Pacific Ocean for about six hours or so. Um, it was nerve wracking, um, but it was also beautiful. Um, I haven't had a lot of experiences where I could solely focus on me for a lot of my life um, and I don't want to get into it but a lot of my life has been about people pleasing and validation and not rocking the boat and making sure that everyone else is comfortable and forestalling a lot of the things that I want to do the things that I want to experience and this trip was the first attempt at coming to grips with that and like I said I'm not a spring chicken um, in my 40s now um, at the time I was younger than what I was now but um yeah I uh, had a lot of emotions coming to Hawaii and when I first touched down in Hawaii and I looked at the streets, um, a lot of it looked somewhat similar to what I was used to. Um, and a lot of it wasn't like I'm literally on an island and um, I was really taken aback by how many of the homeless people that were in Hawaii, that are in Hawaii. And that kind of, a lot of pictures that I see, you don't really see that. like. Coming, coming on a plane from Hawaii, from LA, and then seeing the homeless there, and in San Francisco, and then coming to Hawaii and seeing it there, I, I, I it was it was a shock to me. Um, and these are stories that I I've heard in passing, but you know when you think of Hawaii, you think of you know the the beautiful beaches and the lays and um, you know the, just. And it is a beautiful, beautiful island, but if I spoke frankly, um, I don't think 
I don't think I would want to return there. And this is no, I'm not discounting Kauai and the pe people in the culture in any way. It's just that, um, and maybe this was, maybe these emotions came from me being laid off and my circumstances and, and all these emotions were wrapped in. But while I was there, I, I noticed the dichotomy between the ultra wealthy tourists and the people that were living there. And there's a part of me that did not want to see that. There was a part of me that wanted to just experience the Hawaii that has been advertised to me and pushing away the reality of the situation and focusing on the tourism aspect and not on what my being there is doing to the people on that island. Um, you'll, you'll notice in these pictures that um, there's a lot of storm clouds, it was rainy, um, and I was kind of like, it was, I was laughing by the irony that, yeah, I got, I got laid off. I'm in one of the most beautiful places on earth and I am during the, I came down during the rainy season or whatever. Um, but that's okay that I, I, I still enjoyed my time there. And I guess the point of this video and why I wanted to do it was I've been afraid to do the things that I want to do for a lot of my life. You know, I'm not talking about like play games and review movies. I love that stuff. I love doing YouTube videos, but for the vast majority of my life, um, I've had these expectations where, you know, I was supposed to go, I'm, I'm supposed to go to college, which I did. I'm supposed to get a job, which I did. I'm supposed to settle down, which I haven't. <laughs> um, but, um, there's these expectations that I've just dove into. And one of the expectations I dove in was find a career and just dive into that and learn as much as possible and progress within that career. And I've done that. I've, 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 I've reached a point where I'm not doing what I intentionally did when I went to college. I'm doing something completely different and I do enjoy it, but there's always been this part of me that I've put the things that I've really wanted to do on the back burner. And over the years, that's taken a toll on my soul. It's taken a toll on my mental health. It's taken a toll in establishing friendships and relationships and experiencing life. And I've always felt that I've cut out a part of myself to live out these expectations. <clears throat> and reality set in and when I was not living up to these expectations um, the universe held a mirror in front of me and said this is who you are but there's also a possibility that I can show you what you can be and it's not too late as long as I'm breathing as long as I'm waking up every day, it's not too late. And starting this YouTube channel and getting in touch with who I am and making an attempt to reach out and whether it's talking about, you know, reviews for films or video games or um, just getting in touch with myself has, has been has been a big step in that process and in being in Hawaii was one of those huge steps for me and there's a picture where I'm I show like a mountain and when I was there um I think it was the pot spot where they actually filmed the original the OG Jurassic Park and when I looked up at that mountain it sounds really hokey but I felt something I felt something within me. I felt something like spiritually, like it, it, I can't describe it, 
but I was in awe of like that sight of the beauty of like I just stepped into something very ancient very old and like that thing that presence that's, that was ancient was looking at me and telling me telling me that it sees me um and I guess I want to say because I don't want to get too emotional with it but I guess when I, what I want to say is if you are afraid of doing that thing whatever that thing is whether it's applying for that job whether it's making a YouTube video whether it's being an actor or actress whatever you're afraid of do the thing even if it just means like doing it once do that thing because you never fucking know you never know what's on the opposite end of that and I've lived a life where I followed the straight and narrow or I followed the path that others wanted me to follow and I'm not satisfied with it <laughs> I, I have, I'm not, it does not fulfill me, but I'm reaching a point in my life where I'm doing the things that do fulfill me, do satisfy me. And I'm able to sleep better. And my anxiety is not as bad as it used to be. And even though there's so much chaos and so much uncertainty, I don't know. It's really weird. I feel feel confident that things are going to work out. I feel confident that I will find my place. And there, there's this old, like, well, I guess it's not old, but there's like this bumper sticker that says that not everyone that wanders is, is lost. And for most of my life, I've been a wanderer. For most of my life, I've been hopping from one thing to the other with enthusiasm, with as much enthusiasm as possible. But I've never felt like I belonged. And right now I'm at a point where I, I'm getting closer to finding the thing that's me, the thing that speaks to me. Um, and going to Hawaii, despite all the things that I've said earlier, it, it was a beautiful experience. I recommend that anyone right now, I, if you can go, but if you don't need to go, don't go. And um, I don't know. I I wanted to say that I'm going to do my best going forward to live the me that I always knew that I could be. And whether it's through making these YouTube videos, whether it's through my job whether it's through meeting new people i'm gonna try and do more and be better and if you're afraid if you've been laid off if you feel like you don't have a purpose i fully understand you i fully understand what you're going through and it's never too late it's never too late to find yourself and sometimes it takes sometimes it takes a trip <laughs> thousands of miles to find yourself. Sometimes it takes you being alone, you know, for years to find yourself, to find out what makes you, what sets your soul on fire. Um, and everyone's going to have their own way of how they find that, but don't give up. You're one step away. And I know it sounds like stupid. And I know like there's people out there says like, I've heard that so many, so many times and it doesn't, it, it, what, it, it means bullshit. It's bullshit. And to some part it is, but to some part it's not, it, it's what you make of it. How do you want to make your own luck? You know, do you want to rely on others or do you want to believe in yourself? Do you want to invest in yourself? Do you want to have the courage to say, fuck it? Even if it doesn't succeed, I'm going to try anyway. And if it doesn't succeed today, I'm going to try tomorrow and then I'll take a break and then I'll try again next week. I'll try again next month. I'll try again next year. But as long as I keep trying, um, 
I'll find a way. And I thank the people that are around me um, that made sure that I don't fall into this really dark place. There's a lot of people that don't have that support system. There's a lot of people that don't have the wherewithal to take trips to Hawaii to find themselves or and whatever it takes for you to get to where you need to be um do it take that leap you won't be sorry you'll you'll be wiser um so yeah i'm i'm sorry for ranting in this video or, um i had something that i wanted to get off my chest there's things that are happening to me and i can feel them i can feel them growing I, I, for the better i can feel them moving in a place that i want to move into and i want to be as honest as possible without giving too much of the details um within my circumstances but if you like this video feel free to give it a like share it hit the notification bell whatever the youtube <laughs> process is um and i thank you all um for watching my videos for taking the time to watch my videos um and i hope you have a great day <laughs>